What's good, YouTube? DM Gaming here, guys. Hope everyone is having an awesome morning, man. I got my papers early, finished my route early. It's not even 6 o'clock in the morning yet, guys. But still, this is super cool. The video we have for today is super cool because I'm talking about character levels, guys. Now, if you missed yesterday's video, please go and check that video out, guys. DLC 2 location. Um, this is a very, very interesting, thought-provoking video. Similar to how today is. Y'all know y'all know how we do. You know what I'm saying? But today I want to give a shout out to Garrett. He sent me this um, image or these images. And we've talked about this stuff before, guys. This is nothing new. I've talked about this early on in the DLC. Uh, whenever we started the stack and we was on Twitter streaming. Which, guys, I promise you we'll get back to that stuff. Um, Geovic. Geovic, my boy, the GOAT. That's where we got Geovic in from in the Geo stack. Um, we talked about that back then, and but he sent me these screenshots, and I just want to bring these back up. Geo Big didn't send them to me, Garrett did. So we're gonna bring that back up. Shout out to Garrett. Uh, what happens here, guys? What we're looking at here is these blue numbers, and we've talked about it a long time ago, like I said. But want to bring it back up because it's relevant. When you surpass 100 million battle power, the number, the color of the numbers change blue. Now, I know people are going to say, oh, Super Saiyan Blue, that's what it's about, right? No, because even TN, you can see his TN down here is over 100 million battle power and his numbers are blue as well. Why they change color, I don't know. But the fact that they do change color means this, guys, that it's, it, it's, it's something normal within the game. The reason I bring this up is because look at all their character levels. They're all level 250, okay? Guys, it's not, in my opinion, um, excuse the hair, excuse the lighting, guys, I told you it's five in the morning. It's not very important about the character level, okay? Let's not get hung up with that. Now, some of the other guys in the communities have talked about character level, and it's a, it's a, it's a question that people have. There's nothing wrong with that at all, because people wonder, is there going to be a character level increase? I've even talked about, is there going to be a character level increase? But what I'm saying is, that's not the big issue, okay? Raising the character level is not a big issue. If the only reason for you wanting to raise the character level is it gives us something to strive for, that is, is misplaced um, optimism, okay? Because if you want something to strive for, they should put stuff in the game for you to strive for that actually means something. So for those of y'all who don't know, the relationship between character level and battle power Character level is basically your potential. Okay? So, like, right now, Goku is, um, I'll say your potential cap, in a sense. Goku is at level 250. Right now in the game, level 250 is at, at max. So, what that means is that as far as Goku's potential or his max level, he's reached max level, but the fact that his battle power can still go higher means that he hasn't reached his max potential. He's reached his ceiling. He hasn't fulfilled that ceiling yet because this number here can still go up. Now, modders have maxed out all of the stats as far as um, uh, melee attack, key, health, all of that stuff, guys. And believe me, this number can go higher. I'll just tell you straight up. This number can go higher. Okay, I'll get that number for you, but this number can go even higher than 100 million. And it makes fighting with Beerus, like once you reach over 100 million battle power, you can do some amazing things to Beerus, dude. Like he's no competition at all. And you can see here his Goku, um, and I know Geovic, even Geovic's, his health is over 51 million. Okay. Geovic stuff is really high too. I think Geovic stuff is actually higher than Garrett's here. But yet and still, guys, this stuff can get astronomically high. So, DM, what is your point? My point is, that, that's what I should have did the first time and zoomed in. Um, my point is, character level, only reason character level matters is if you've maxed out this stuff, okay? I want to take y'all to a game called Destiny 2. Destiny, Destiny 2. Here's the perspective on this. Character level matters in the sense of when you're facing tougher enemies. Like, for example, if I'm facing off against a level 300 Frieza, 
then character level is going to come into play because my character level is lower than his. Even though my battle power may be higher, because my character level is lower, I'm not going to be as effective. Whereas if both of our character levels are level 250, and at that point my battle power is higher than his, then I'm going to be exponentially stronger. Okay? That's why when you face off against an enemy, like, okay, for example, I can go fight against Banyu. Banyu at level 100. I'm at level 250 with a 109 battle power, million, 109 million battle power. I'm going to basically almost one shot Banyu. But if I face off against Beerus, guys, and Beerus is also level 250, even with my battle power max or as high as it can go with these stats being 99 overall or whatever, I'm not going to one shot Beerus. I can do a one hit, com I can do a combo couple of hits and knock him out i can go against some of the villainous enemies that are level 250 but i'm not gonna one shot those enemies the reason why is because our levels are the same so then it balances out in a sense to where it goes into battle power but say i go face against a level 100 with this battle power i'm gonna one 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 hit him okay so character level is important don't get me wrong but it's not near as important as these metrics right here guys it's not as important as your melee attack defense key all of this stuff here it's not as important as these your key maxes out at 9999 your health guys i've done it where i've maxed out my character stats i've done the stuff i've seen that guess what you can eat meals and your health can still go up so with that being said that means that your battle power can still go up this is why when at the first we fought beers he was pretty tough because a lot of us hadn't been eating and raising these stats and even though we were level 250, Beerus hit like a tank. But as we began to eat more and stuff, because there was nothing else left to do in the game, people like Geovic, myself, and Garrett, and Billy got stronger to the point where Beerus was just like a normal fight. The only challenge was evading his attacks in which we were even able to do that. So the character level is not a big concern going forward in the game. The biggest concern is maximizing these numbers. So rather, I would much rather them in the DLC implement something, even something that's going to help us to bring the best out of these stats without having to grind so dang hard to collect food items and then go to Chi Chi and she can only cook two at a time, but we can only eat one at a time. There needs to be something in the game that streams line this right here so that we're spending our time actually fighting and training and things like that as opposed to eating. And I've done a video. Um, I've done a video, guys. By the way, hit that subscribe button, guys, and, and, and smash the heck out of that like button. If you like Dragon Ball Z. If you like Dragon Ball GT, Dragon Balls, Dragon Ball Super, Super Heroes, whatever, hit that like button on this video right now, guys. I did a video a while back called True Training. It's right here. Video only got 3,000 views, guys. I promise you, this video is worth so much more to the community. Check this video out because in this video I talk about and I even sent some stuff to Bandai Namco. I have the stuff typed out to where um I don't oh, care. We'll, we'll TikTok. We'll let this ad roll. I've, I've sent some stuff to the community where guys we we literally talk and discuss this stuff right here. You can see me old me here, but I typed this article up and I think it's a link to it is here in the description. Um, where you can go through and look at all of this stuff, guys. And it's very extensive. I've typed all of this stuff out myself. And what this stuff does is it increases this stuff here without having the need to eat. Eating basically would increase these two here, but the training would increase this right here so that we're actually playing the game and fighting as opposed to just grinding for meals and stuff like that. This way we can get the most out of this while building this and then that's where character level can come into play, say where we can max this out and you'll have to grow in level in order to go higher in these particular stats. You get what I'm saying? So I hope that this has made sense to you guys. If it hasn't, watch the video again, guys. But please subscribe to the channel guys i got so much more great stuff it's gonna be an amazing week for dragon ball z kakarot i feel that we're getting a trailer this week i really feel that way that's all i got for right now y'all till next time thanks for watching peace